G'day guys, welcome back to Ray's Reviews. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, just jump over and subscribe and turn that notification bell on if you want to be alerted for any future videos of ours that go up. Today we're going to be reviewing our King's 2 KVA generator. Um, main reason I want to review this is we have seen a lot of things on Facebook, like on the caravanning pages, about generators and what people should run. You know, there's a lot of uh, misconception, I guess you'd call it, about the King's generators and a lot of the China generators. Um, we've really only had the King's generator and just one of those, I'm not going to say crappy because it was actually really good, but the really cheap home light generators from Bunnings. That's the, the only comparison we got other than people we've spoken to on the road, generators I've worked on on the road and just dealt with firsthand. Um, so, King's generator. 2kVA is what they're listed as. Um, I haven't tested what it puts out, but I can pretty much guarantee it puts out more than that. Um, we've run, so actually, so prior to this year, which is 2021, our old air conditioner is one of the Heron 2.2 non-inverter split system air conditioners in our van. Very, very power hungry, very. Um, now for the first, so we've had this for four years. So we got this in 2017. For the first three years of its life, it ran, basically the only reason we had it was to run that air conditioner and it actually ran past its high rev settings. Um, you know, you'd have it on high rev, pick that air con in the house and it had even up the revs even more. So I'm not actually sure what it will put out, but it does put out more than it's standard two. Now it did that for three years. Um, yeah, all night when we used it. So it it hasn't had a lot of use, but the use it has had has been really, really hard use. So in that respect, 10 out of 10, it's never failed. It'll start first pull every time, um, even from not being used, cold, M can grab it out, first, second pull, and she'll have it going. Uh, when I start it today, is the I can promise you it's cold. It hasn't been run today. Um, last time it was run was probably about a month ago. Um, and same thing, didn't fault, and that was to run our new air conditioner, which is the Dometic Heron Plus. Uh, it's a three, over three kilowatt air conditioner, but it is an inverter. This will run the air conditioner, the battery charger in the van, and when I forget, it'll rev its head off, but it'll run the hot water system at the same time. So obviously that's putting out more than two kilowatts. Now, into the generator itself. Um, I'll see if we can find some specs and I'll just get them to put them in the bottom corner here about the weight of it. It's not overly heavy. It's about the same as all the other 2kVA generators. Um, very simple to use, pull start, fuel tap, choke. And then on the front, you've got your on off switches, your economy and normal running switches, circuit breakers, error lights, and your two power points. Now the error lights, um, it has an error light for low oil and if it's got too low oil it will cut the motor and I can verify that works because where I store the generator to get it out I've got to lay it down so it always loses a bit of oil and loses oil into the top end so it burns it off but I can guarantee you that will cut the engine so you can't damage it there and the overload it will um, like when our toaster shit itself plugged in and it just cuts the generator so in that respect very safe as well throws the breaker and cuts the generator um, I'll just take this cover off and actually just show you inside and how easy it is just to check your oil so you got four Phillips screws mine my braille fingers and um, pretty much everything is in this one side that you'll ever need to do to maintain the generator. Um, as in oil changes, I think it's the same as most of these, they hold bugger all, like I think it's 100 mil, maybe even less of oil, it's bugger all. But that's it there. So just in here, sorry for my braille hands, you got dipstick just here, nice and easy to check. Phillips screw and you're straight into the air cleaner to clean your air cleaner. 
to change your oil, unfortunately, it is the same as all the other generators. You've got to take your bung out, uh, dipstick out, and tip it on its side, drain it, and then fill it back up. Um, as for volume, it is quieter than Gentrex generators, I can assure that. Um, a good friend of ours has a Gentrex, and this is a lot quieter and a lot easier to start than his Gentrex. Honda generators are a little quieter, um, not enough to obviously warrant the price difference. Um, I'll just sit this back on. Watch me fumble around. Everyone who's sitting at home laughing at me trying to line a screwdriver up. Um, as for other downfalls, the biggest one that I find and the biggest frustrating one for us is it has only got a four litre fuel tank. Um, obviously, as long as you've got a jerry can of fuel, that's not a problem, but if you want to run your aircon all night, you are going to have to wake up in the middle of the night and fill that tank up. I do wish it had about an eight litre tank, that'd be really good, but I'm not going to go out and buy another generator just for that. Um, as for the pull cord, it's still the original pull cord, um, that still hasn't broken, thank God. But we'll get it down and fire it up and show you how loud it is, and I hope to hell it starts easily. <laughs> if it's not, it's going to make a liar out of me. Obviously, air tap on the top, the air release for your fuel tank. Fuel tap on, choke on, and this actually I forgot to say before too. Really good thing the King's One has got is the bulb, the fuel primer bulb. Um, I know a lot of other generators don't have it. I just give it a few. You know, something like that. Make sure your on switch is on. And that's the first pull. Start off. Um, now that's obviously sitting there running a metre from me. Uh, hopefully that sort of shows you how loud they are. But yeah, so that's been a month since that started. I, like I said, I promise you that. I wouldn't lie to you. I've got no connection with Kings. No reason to up their gear. So, And then yeah, like I said, on the front here, you got your economy button, wherever it is. Just to bring your revs up, if you know for a fact that you're gonna have something that's gonna drop a lot of power. Um, but it will do that automatically, bring the revs up and down like all the other generators do. But yeah, so, um, I think that basically sums it up. Like I said, I would never, I would, I got no reason to say anything bad other than the size of the fuel tank. I think that's, you can't think of any downfalls. Um, no, I don't think so. Like, No, it's been incredible. Like I, I can promise you now, if it shit itself tomorrow, I'd be buying another one. Um, I definitely urge people to not just get a Kings, but just shop around. Sometimes buying the biggest, most expensive one isn't the answer. Um, when we bought this, it wasn't as though we bought it because it was cheap. We bought it because Kings was, I think the generator only just come out. And I've never been a believer in dearer means better. So, wanted to give their gear a go. And yeah, it worked out really well for us. So I definitely reckon if you want a generator from the road, especially something you're not gonna be using all the time, don't go out and spend thousands of dollars. I wouldn't go past the King's one. But that'll do for today's review. And I'll see you next time on Ray's Reviews.